Hello and welcome. Today in this video, I will tell you four materials that has the potential to slow down or stop the global warming. These four material is rammed earth, ferric, oud, and finally the bamboo. And if they successfully replace bricks and concrete, we'd find um, ourselves living in a better world that is really sustainable. Rammed earth. Rammed earth is one of the most widely used sustainable material that is now replacing concrete. To quickly scheme the history of rammed earth, we need to go back to 2000 BC, where people had no technology at all to develop the formula of the artificial material to build shelter, like concrete. So in 2000 BC, Chinese people who lived near the Yellow River grinded the fresh clay and the moist material. After that, they stacked up layers and layers, compressing each layer into one big and tall mold that is thin and made up with coated oud. Finally, you just dry it in the sun for a week and you take off the mold. There you go. You got the finest rammed earth that was used by ancient Chinese. The scientist, um, however, the rammed earth that is used right now is quite different from the ancient ones. The scientist had invented various of efficient formula to make the rammed earth more sustainable and quicker. But anyhow, this rammed earth has the potential to replace concrete for the better of humanity. Farrakh. Farrakh is a material that also can be used um, as a replacement of concrete. This material is extremely sustainable as it consists of 95% of recycled material such as steel and iron dust or left out copper. Another reason that this material is extremely sustainable is that while it is made, it absorbs carbon dioxide. Imagine if this piece of material replaced, replaces concrete, we would basically save up a lot of life that is suffering from global warming right now. So how is ferric made? Ferric is made by compressing those mentioned materials together in a place where there would be that would enable them to turn itself to iron carbonate. If it is turned to iron carbonate, it would be ferric once it's categorically solid solidified. I know that this process is not special, but indeed it decreases the carbon gases, so it is definitely good for you to know it. Oh, and carbon is absorbed when the formula turns into iron carbonate. I think I need to end ferric right here. There isn't much information about ferric because it is not commonly used, although it is quite cheap. The reason for that is ferric is brittle compared to other building materials such as concrete and rammed earth or bricks. But for the world, let's try to build houses with ferric from now. Oud. Um, so the third material is oud. You might think that this is not a sustainable option, but to be honest, it is a really sustainable material if the people who works on those facilities does not allow deforestation to occur and replants those areas using seeds that they acquired. Oud has been widely used just until concrete and bricks came out and introduced itself to the efficient, wanting world. To skim through the history of Oud, we go back to ancient Egyptians who had used Oud to build shelters. Gradually, every area surrounding Egypt had adopted this cultural method to make a better living. China and other areas of the world slowly had discovered using Oud instead of staying in caves because of the rise of agriculture revolution. This method secured their possession and it blocked rain if it was coated by gigantic leaves. The reason that Oud is sustainable is it does not contribute on any carbon disasters that makes the global warming to escalate in an immense speed. But at this point, people always wonder how this is possible. They think that by collecting ouds, more carbon will be made because they think it would just do 100% of the work of purifying CO2, which is carbon dioxide. But you are wrong. The recent scientists had proved that over 70% of the carbon purifiers are in fact located underground, so it's located in the ocean. So this refers to coral reefs, the sea plants, and finally the algae. So generally, it is much more eco-efficient and eco-friendly in many ways than concrete and bricks. So our fourth material is bamboo. 
Bamboo is perhaps the only material the scientists had had a consensus on of its superb sustainability. There are many reasons for the decision, but mostly this is because bamboo does not require any sort of fertilizer. Okay, so now let's see how fertilizer is banned and how is it made. The first reason that the fertilizer is detrimental for the environment is that it is made by nitrogen components. Now, nitrogen and other cheap materials is synthesized into a machine with hot pressure. This causes ammonia to be released in air, and as you all know, if there are large quantities of ammonia, it would be hard to breathe, and it would escalate the global warming. The second reason why the fertilizer is bad is when proportion of fertilizer is unabsorbed, and if it rains, the fertilizer would flood into rivers, drains, and would end up in the ocean, which will kill multi hundreds of fish. And will possibly mutate some aqua creatures because those things do not have any sort of resistance to it. And another aspect that contributes towards the bamboo sustainability is that it grows incredibly fast, meaning that if the people in those areas just replant the bamboo seeds, they will just grow heaps overnight. So those are the reasons why bamboo is very good and really reliable in sustainability. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and put thumbs up to it. Thank you for watching.